Brooklyn, bro. Brooklyn. 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 We got to talk. We got to talk, bro. There's so many things I want to say. First things first, though. KD. You had a great series. A great playoff run. Two. Was it 48? He had 48 tonight. And then 49. So we know. Can we blame KD? You can I you can blame him for the last shot if you want, my nigga, but he played all fifty what? He played fifty three minutes. Forty eight, nine, and six. Forty seven percent. He did shoot thirty six from three. Ninety from the free throw. He only had three turnovers. My camera's fucking up. That's I don't even give a fuck, bro. Where am I going with it? I, I, I at least want to see how much he was averaging. They don't even show how much he was averaging in the playoffs. Oh, my gosh. Can you blame him for the last shot, bro? He played 53 minutes. He the only one that's going to score the ball because James Harden was, he made, like, two jump shots. One was a fucking buzzer beater shot clock. Joe Harris missed two great looks in OT. Not only not only did he miss good looks in regulation, he missed good looks in OT. We have quote unquote the best shooter from the regular season. Hit Two, three, two threes, three threes out of ten. Man has a fucking three point contest trophy. Can't hit a wide open three. We're not even going to talk about the previous games where he was missing wide open mid ranges, free throws. Bruce Brown played well tonight. Blake Griffin played. Great tonight. Oh my gosh. Where do I even start? Let's just let's just say this, bro. I bet y'all niggas forgot. We lost Spencer Dinwiddie at the beginning of the season. The beginning of it before we even had James Harden. So it would have been nice to have someone there to facilitate. You know, if James was injured, if Kyrie was injured. But nah. We couldn't get the chemistry together during the season. Niggas just throwing passes out of bounds and shit. We starting with the whole season, bro. The whole season. That one game against the Wizards. Joe Harris just threw the ball away. Westbrook hit a game winner. Back to back embarrassing losses against the Cavs in Cleveland. Kyrie just taking time off. I mean, but he was there in the playoffs when we needed him. As soon as we lost the game to to Boston, I was I was concerned. I was concerned. Niggas gonna be like, "Why are you concerned? You got three of the best players in the league." We lost a game to a to a team with one all star. Was Kemba an all star? I don't think so. A team with one all star. How much did we lose by? I don't know, but you can't blow teams out and then lose to the same team. It's not like they added anybody. Joe Harris had, like, one good game. Or maybe two. Maybe he had two good games. One each series. That's it. That's it. Jeff Green had a great game five, along with KD's 49. 
But, you know, we couldn't get that every night from Jeff. He went 7 for 8. Then in game 6, he goes like 0 for 4 to start, 0 for 5, some shit like that. Blake Griffin played extremely well, better than probably everyone expected. He had 17 tonight. He fouled out. Was it before? I think it was it was during OT. Giannis somehow goes 1 for 6 or 0 for, 0 for something. And then makes like 8 in a row. He even airballed twice. The crowd was counting the whole time. They counted to like 13. They were counting it kind of fast. But even my brother, who sits next to me while we're watching every game, this nigga is a certified Brooklyn Nets hater. He doesn't care who they're going against. He will root for that team. Celtics. Roots for the Celtics. Bucks. Roots for the Bucks. And then he wants to claim that he just wants to see a good game. Every time they have the ball, this nigga says we. He's a LeBron fan. A Lakers fan. That's why. Every time the Celtics had the ball, we got to score here. Every time we're on defense, we need to stop. We need to stop. Same thing for the Bucks. He uses them... What are they pronouns? We, us. And it's like, dude, these ain't even your teams. And then when they win, he want to be a sore winner. But then when they lose, he got excuses for the team that ain't even his. So I'm sitting next to him. This he goes ahead and times the free throw. Eleven seconds. What are the? That was for like everyone. The refs wasn't, they weren't counting. Y'all just said, fuck it. Oh my gosh. I mean, we can even go back to game three. Bruce Brown. Have y'all heard how I feel about this yet? Maybe. Bruce Brown. This is a layup. Back to the other side. Gives up the go-ahead bucket to Drew Holiday on a layup. Comes back down. Fumbles the pass. Panics. Drives inside against Brooke Lopez. Throws up some shit. Should have did. Could have did a pump fake, but didn't. Throws up some shit. Misses. Could have won game three. Kyrie may not have got injured if we won game three. He may not have got injured, but you can't, you can't, apparently you can't say that. So, Joe Harris, in that game, game three, Joe Harris bricking. Kyrie was the second leading scorer on the team, and he had 11 points and left in the second quarter. No one else could hit double digits. Gosh, and no one, no one wanted to challenge Giannis and take a charge, bro. That's all you have to do. You take a charge, get this nigga in foul trouble. That's it. But no, y'all niggas want to try and strip the ball, get blocks, get them standing up charges. You can't move your feet if you're taking a charge. You got to fall, brother. You got to take the contact. No one, bro. That nigga Chris Middleton was pulling the fucking screen foul cheese. Come around the screen. Defenders barreling around it, trying to contest. Foul. I'm just like, bro. Oh, my God. Gosh. And, I mean, James Harden, thank you for trying to play through it, bro. But if you're not feeling it, you're just going to continue to keep chucking up shots and falling back, hoping for a foul. 
Just get a ball to KD. Give it to somebody. Let Jeff Green get hot. Let Joe Harris, you know, hopefully he makes some sh some shots. Run the pick and roll with Blake. Run the pick and roll with Bruce. Set KD up for a high post. I'm just like, y'all got P.J. Tucker fouled out. That's all you had to do. KD's main defender. They, they should have put Giannis on KD. I don't know how they did not have defending defensive player of the year on the best scorer of all time at all in the series. He didn't guard him more than probably five times. I think. And they won the series. KD did his thing, bro. 48, 49, 30s. But no. KD can't do it by himself, bro. 49 and what? 15, 10? First highest amount of points. Or was it most amount of minutes? Most amount of minutes played in the game seven. Nigga played two full games and more. Didn't score at all in OT. Only person to score was Bruce Brown off a putback. And KD gets blocked. Joe Harris wide open in his pocket. Blows it. If we could have scored at least one more time, would have been wraps. And Steve fucking Nash. Bro. You are the coach. I don't care what the players say to you, bro. 12 seconds left. Down by two. You call a fucking timeout. You call a timeout, bro. You don't just let them take the ball up the court and wing it. You call a timeout and draw something up like you did in regulation to get KD that shot. Granted, it was the same shot. But, bro, it wasn't a good shot. KD still made the first one. But it was like, come on, bro. I think there were two shots that KD took at the end. The air ball and the one before that where I was like, fuck, bro, it's over. It's over. And like, the niggas don't understand. Like, I'm not a bandwagon Nets fan, bro. I'm a KD fan. So not seeing him play... The last season, when he comes back, he gets injured like twice. And then he's fucking putting up numbers, bro, averaging fucking like 35 in the playoffs. And to go down to a team whose best defensive player is scared to guard Kevin Durant. They put fucking P.J. Tucker on him, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez, my nigga. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know anymore. Next season, am I even rooting for anyone now? Clippers. Clippers. Paul George doing his thing. I don't know when Kawhi's coming back. I heard he's not traveling with the team. Their first game tomorrow. I don't know, bro. I want the Clippers to win. That's the thing, though. Like, I like Jason Tatum. I like Jalen Brown. Kemba's okay. Milwaukee. I like Giannis. I like Drew Holiday. I don't have a problem with Chris Middleton. I don't have a problem with Brooke Lopez. But 
Because, like, seeing the Bucks lose and seeing Giannis, especially if you're struggling and he's, like, sad, like, I was kind of like, damn, bro, I kind of feel bad. But then when he wins, he's, like, all hype and shit. And, that's, and I'm like, bro, oh, my gosh. Then if they played, like, if they would have played the Hawks next, I wouldn't care, bro. Trey Young can get the work. But if they play the Sixers, like, I like Joel. Ben Simmons is okay. Danny Green is okay. Dwight Howard, okay. Tobias Harris, I like Tobias Harris. And then if they go on to play the Suns, mm, Chris Paul's okay. D Book, okay. But the Clippers, if it was Nets versus Clippers, bro, oh my god. Gosh, those are my two picks from each conference, Nets and Clippers. Because there was a time where my top five players were Kyrie, Kawhi, Paul George, KD, I think Anthony Davis. Not top five, but like in 2K. Your starters, you know, those would be my starters. Those would be the players I would try and get. So, like, not in the order of how I like them, order of position. So, Paul George and Kawhi on the same team. Kyrie and KD on the same team. Man. Did we fold? I wouldn't say we folded, bro. I mean, we could have won. But it's like we were injured. We ain't had the chemistry. James Harden was like a liability sometimes. He had a wide open fast break off of a steal. Nigga didn't go because he didn't want to get fucking re-injured his hamstring. So, I don't know, bro. We need to make some moves in the off season. Not big moves, just like bench moves. Like, why, if you're not going to play DeAndre Jordan, bro, I don't understand why they didn't. Mike James was okay. I don't know why you got Reggie Perry and fucking, who's up, Johnson. You got Chioza. Still rather have Jalen Hands. Tyler Johnson. Shamit's cool. We can keep Shamit. But, bro, here's who we're rocking with next year. Kyrie, James Harden, KD, Blake, DeAndre, Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jeff Green, Bruce Brown, Landry Shamit, Claxton. He's... I don't have a problem with Claxton, bro. He just needs to, like, learn how to stand his ground. Especially against Giannis, bro. And if you're going to foul Giannis, don't let him make the fucking shot. Because he, he, he likely ain't going to make the free throws. So don't let him make the shot, bro. I don't know, bro. So that's that's them the only people I want to see next, se- next season, which is damn near most of the team. So... Shit, bro. Snag Danny Green. Who who else could we snag? Who do we need? A center? I mean... You can run DeAndre off the bench, bro. Because we needed it. We needed an extra body in the paint. I don't know why we didn't... Why they didn't run DeAndre. What the fuck is wrong with DeAndre Jordan, bro? Nothing. Nothing is wrong with him. I'm glad Kyrie was in attendance. Steve Nash. That's the only thing I'm mad at you about is that last possession. Call a time out. I know it's KD on Drew Holiday, but Drew Holiday is a perimeter defender. 
KD only scores on Drew Holiday when he's in when he's posting up. That's it. Below the three point line, anything on the three point line, Drew Holiday has the better matchup. I don't want to say that because KD can still like shoot over him, which he coulda shoulda done, but KD was more comfortable bagging him down, which he couldn't do in that time span. And I don't know, bro. That's it. We have next year, I guess. Hopefully. I need some fucking moves. I need y'all to... I need y'all niggas to stay healthy, bro. Rest the fuck up. Harden, I don't want to see you at no fucking Drew League. Kyrie, don't be in no fucking movies. KD, do whatever the fuck you want to do, bro. You are that nigga. I love you. I do. The way Steve Nash hugged you, bro, I would hug you the same way after the game. You did your thing. Proud of you. Let these niggas know who you are. They trying to disrespect you, bro. Fuck. They can't say they can't say shit about KD. He put up 49 and 48 when his team needed it. Bron ain't doing that. Bron couldn't do that. They literally tried to count KD out before the season started. Because he tore his Achilles. Don't count him out, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Still fucking Kevin Durant, bro. Now, if if LeBron's wears Achilles, you know what I'm saying? That's a different story. So, KD's just built different. But, yeah, bro. Hopefully, we'll get it together next season. I need to see better from the coaching staff. Mike D'Antoni, you should have known better, bro. You could have told him, call a timeout. Fuck. 